Welcome back to Sip the Tally Presents Ravens Roundup, Week 9, coming off this huge victory over the New England Patriots. And uh, today's video, we're going to talk about third downs. Um, third downs are a big play in the NFL where a lot of elite pass rushers come on the field. Uh, a lot of guys, they put their best you know, rushers, their nickel packages, their elite skill guys on the field to try to get other teams off the field. But also, offensively, if you win third downs, you have a good chance of winning the game. So in this game right here, the Ravens were 50% on third downs. Uh, five or ten, and the Patriots were 38% on third downs. So us winning third downs, I think, propelled us to win the game. And I'm going to give you a few examples of how winning plays on third down propelled us to do things later on in the drive or actually cap drives off. So the first play we're going to look at happened in the first quarter. And, um, you know, it was third. If you see on the screen, it was third and five. Uh, us converting this play prevented us from going three and out. Um, we got another third down later in the drive that we didn't convert, but on fourth down, we were going for the field goal. They jumped off sides, and ultimately, we basically relayed this third down conversion into our opening touchdown, our opening drive. If we don't get this third down, it's three and out punt. may change the whole tempo, may change the whole outcome of the game. But getting this third down play was of, of huge importance, and uh, let's, let's go through and look at what, what happened on this third down play. All right, again, you can see it was third and five on, on the minus 30-yard line, on our 30-yard line. We need to get to 35-yard line. And, again, this is the third play of the game for us. If we don't get this, it's probably a three and out. And let's uh, let's check out and see what, what went on. Obviously, we know it was a completed pass to Hollywood Brown. So we get a bunch set right here. And I just let it play through before I uh, kind of talk about what's going on. So what you get is almost like a levels concept. You get a levels concept. You get three guys bunched up here to the right. Bunched up here in the top of your screen to the right. You got some guy going to shallow, another guy going to dig, and then you got a, a later dig coming across. So these first two guys are really trying to clear the middle of the field out for Hollywood Brown. And uh, that's what happens. And, you know, he gets a little, Lamar gets a little duress in the backfield. But he keeps the play alive, and Hollywood makes an outstanding catch, which I think you can see it better from the back view. You got, I think this is Hurst on the shallow. Then you got, maybe this is Andrews, I can't tell, going to run a dig. And they're basically going to try to clear out the middle of the field for Hollywood's dig that's going to come a little later. And Hollywood did a great job of getting inside the guy. He worked him outside to get inside. Made this guy right here open up so he can get inside and then break to the inside route. Because if he gets outside, this guy's going to undercut it and he has no chance of getting the ball. Got inside of him. Now, this flare in the back kind of clears it out too because it takes him out. So all these guys are chasing these crossers. He's chasing him. He's chasing him. Eyes on these guys going across. Not, to, not knowing this guy's going to come across also. To look at the middle of the field is open, other than this guy. So all he has to do is get it past this Mike linebacker that's trying to spy. Or it may not even be a Mike linebacker, whoever this is right here trying to spy. Hollywood comes back to the ball to keep. That's the important part of the, of the route. That's the important part of the route. Him coming back downhill to keep space between this guy. If he, if he comes flat across, that guy maybe can undercut it. But by him coming back downhill to the, and working back to the quarterback, it keeps the spacing. And gives him a chance to catch the ball. It, it wasn't a great throw. Lamar was kind of under the wrist. You see him diving right here. Lamar has a guy hanging on him. And you'll see, we'll look at the back view and kind of see who got beat. He has a guy hanging on him right here. And he just flicks it out there. Hollywood dies and make a catch. Get a first down. Get a first down, which, you know, ex extends the drive. And we end up, you know, scoring on this drive. Didn't look that, that important at the beginning, but... It, you know, when you look at the overall picture and you look at big picture, this is a huge play. Huge, huge play. Now, first of all, let's see if they blitz. So, no, they don't blitz. You got a little stunt going right here. Got a little stunt going. They're trying to pass it off. Yonder should pick this guy up. Skirt should pick this guy up. Bozeman don't really have anybody looking both ways. We got um, Stanley here on this guy. And Zeus is going to block this guy. But he's trying to check the running back, too. 
So this is where the pressure comes from. On off the stunt. Yonder's good. Yonder's good. Let me go back. My bad. This is the problem right here. When you when you got guys stunt right here, you gotta stay square. You gotta stay stay square. You can't get your shoulders turned. Now that his shoulders turn, he's gonna loop around and he's gonna have a little advantage that screw can't recover from. So he can't he can't recover from it. Now the guy's on top of Lamar. You look at Yonder. Yonder stays square. You on the stage square? Pick that guy right up. Because you can see the 7 and the 3. Right here, you just see the 8. You should be able to see the 6 and the 8 when these stunts come. Now, you you only see the 8 on Skirr's back. That's why he gets beat like that. Because he can't get his hips around that fast. But big guys don't have hips, you know, good hips like that to do that. That's why you got to stay square. You on the stage square. See the stunt coming? Bam! Right in his face. Look at the head snap back. Bow! Nothing. Nothing. But now you see Hurst clearing out. See Andrews clearing out and they chasing. You see him chasing Hurst, him chasing Andrews. This guy's trying to spy Lamar. So all we got to do is get it past this dude. You see Hollywood got the inside leverage up here. He's going to break it off and come to the left. He's open now, but he got this guy hanging off of him. And you don't want to throw it and let him pick it. So you got to let it develop just a little bit more. Now, he's not a threat now. Because if you throw it on this side of him, he's not a threat. Barely gets it off. Great catch. Great catch. Great catch. Look at that. Full extension. Full extension. Great catch to, to, to keep the drive alive. Now, before I go into the second play of the drive, I want to, um, you know, add another point to that first play. After that first down by, by Hollywood, we snapped off. A 13-yard play to Ingram, a 26-yard uh, play to um, to Hollywood Brown, and a five-yard Lamar run. So just you know, getting that first down and getting the the the, the drive rolling started a bunch of uh, in my mind chunk plays. I think we got three first downs in a row, and um, you know, kind of got us rolling on that first drive. But the second play happened a little later in the uh, third quarter. I'm sorry, the first quarter, uh, 6:22. You see it on your screen right there. Uh, third and two, ball on the 47-yard line. And this is the fourth play of the drive, so it didn't prevent a three and out, but you know, four and out is, is just as good. We got to play on, we got a first down on the first play of the drive, and um, the getting this third down led to a field goal. Even though we had another third down, you know, later on that we did not convert, uh, getting this third down allowed us to work our way down the field to get a field goal. Because right after this play, we got another chunk play of 18 yards by Lamar. But let's get into uh, to what happened in the, in this second th converted third down of the game. Got a bunch look uh, empty bunch, and you got four to the left. Basically, you just run the rubs. Just run the rubs. You know, uh, it's short yardage, so you got to just get it out quick, and he out leverage guys. So you got uh, empty with um, I want to say this is Gus up to the top. You got Andrews gonna come in motion. You got Sneed. You got Brown. You got Boykin here. Hollywood, you know, runs that way just to take a guy with him. Uh, Sneed and Boykin really just going out here to, to shield guys or, or even block to get so we can get this ball out here. We, we got him out leverage. Got him out flank right now. You know, if they're going to block, we'll see here in a second. Uh, he can block him. He can block the next man over, catch the ball, and get up the field and get out of bounds. But definitely get the third down. And they were going straight to block. Well, at least looking like they were blocking. But they, we outflanked the guy and got a simple first down. Simple concept. Great execution, nothing fancy, catch and throw. Catch and throw. Got, what, four or five yards on it. Got, got one yard extra. No protection issue because the ball comes out fast. Man concept. Just man concept. With him coming in motion across the field from him, it was a man concept. It was that simple. That's how Lamar knew it was man because he traveled with him. Now, looking at trail position. With him in his trail position, if Lamar catches it, this is the guy that's guarding Andrews, and that's why I call it trail position because he's – look at the angle. He's trailing him. If he can get it out quickly without letting him close that gap, he should have a first down because these three guys, and you can't really see the other two, have man-to-man, -man and they have to go with their man. And really just trying to cause a mass confusion right up in here so he can come flat. He got to get caught. He gets caught in the wash. That's all it is. He gets caught in the wash. See, look, he's still trailing even though this guy came off Boykin to help with the tackle, he's still trailing him. Had he not come off 
Uh, he could have turned it up and got more yards. But again, this this play led to a Tucker field goal and put us up 10-0. Uh, let's go on to the next play. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Now this next play is in the second half, and it's after a, uh, I think it's a James White touchdown. Let me check. Yeah, after a James White touchdown, which made the score 24 to 20, us. And now you can see that on the screen. So us, you know, this is a third down and five. Had we not converted this, it would have been another three and out, giving them the ball back. And they had uh, some momentum going. So this was a big, big third down for us to, to um, basically stop the bleeding and, and get our mojo back and go ahead and put these guys away. And this is a the uh, big throw to to uh, Mandrews. Let's let's see what happened. Obviously, you get a man look. That's and I, that that window dressing just to make sure it's man. Even though they're in a, a no safety zero type look, that window dressing is just to make sure it is what it is and give Lamar a better picture of where he wants to go with the ball. Just get a corner route. You, you get one of my favorite concepts again. I think I talked about it, um, you know, last video when I was we was doing something about somebody. I don't know which video it was, but getting two in routes by these guys and a corner by by this guy, one of my favorite concepts. It just out leverages him. No, nothing real fancy. Nothing real fancy. Comes off the ball, the one two, get leverage on, get his hands off of him, and now I'm a, I'm bigger than you. I'm just gonna be bigger than you. There's nothing great about this route. I'm just going to be bigger than you. That's all. That's all it is. I'm bigger. I'm better than you. Give me a chance, Lamar. Because it's not bad coverage. Not bad coverage. Just the fact that, hey, you know, you win your one-on-one -on -one battles in the NFL, you stay longer. And and Andrews won this one-on-one -on -one battle. Lamar gave him a chance, threw it high because he knew he was over. The next thing you know, we got Salt Bay coming. That's that's Aunt, uh, Mandrew's little signature celebration. See nothing nothing great about that rap. Nothing bad about that coverage. Lamar just gave him a chance. Look at this. This guy's on Andrews. Andrew, I'm just better than you. That's all that is. I'm just better than you. I'm a better athlete than you. I'm bigger than you. I'm taller than you. I can out jump you. Lamar put the ball up where I can go get it. And he does that a lot with Andrews. Does it a lot with Andrews. And you know, Andrews rewards him by coming down with these balls. This was a big, big third down to stop the bleed, you know, to stop the bleeding because they had worked their way back into the game, especially after the, the fumble. They worked their way back into the game. And speaking of that, I see we picked up the Anthony Thomas today also. But um, big, big play right here. This I don't really need to set this last play up. This is the dagger. If the dagger hadn't already been drawn, you know, thrown in there, this is um, our final touchdown. Um, Lamar got in, and he was basically carried in by Zeus. Let's watch and see what happens. Kind of like a busted play. Should be power left. You'll see a puller go left. Bozeman kind of stumbles and no man's land. But he ends up in Zeus's arms. I'm going to pull you in, big fella. That's all it is. You'll see it from here. Get a puller and Bozeman kind of stumbles. Lamar finds himself in, in Zeus's arms. And Zeus is just, hey, I'm going to fall backwards. Come on, let's go for a ride. Touchdown. Touchdown. Victory, good guys. And, um, you know, there's nothing much to say about that play other than just straight sheer will. Will and want to, you know, we get, we have a, a young leader. He's proven that, you know, he has the leadership qualities. He's a guy that can, can have, you know, beers with the, with the O line and, and go on, you know, some party with the DBs and he can, you know, sit around and have lunch with the, the linebackers. He's a guy that leads the entire team because he's just a guy, nothing really fancy, nothing really flashy. He's a, he's a blue-collar guy, and from what I hear, even though I've never been to the city, Baltimore's a blue-collar city. So he fits right in with the, the caliber of people there. He's not a, a, a I guy. All his interviews are team. 
So um, he's leading us to to places that I didn't think he would lead us this early. I had confidence in him when we drafted him. I, I liked him in Louisville. But he's doing things way earlier than I thought. He's ahead of the curve as far as his leadership abilities and his playmaking abilities. He don't put up a lot of flashy uh, passing numbers. But as long as we get first downs and we get the stat that I love the most, time possession, I, he's doing his job. Uh, time possession was 37 minutes to 20 minutes, which is awesome. Almost doubled the Patriots up. Even though they had a great second quarter with time possession, we almost doubled them up in time possession. Had another long drive in there that's kind of back breaking. Had another defensive touchdown. And just oh, did work on third down. Converting half your third down, that's, that's, that's good because it keep, extend drives, it keeps your defense off the field, and it prepares you to do other things offensively. But um, this is the, the first video of the week. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, like the video if you saw something you liked. Uh, if you saw something you want to talk about or comment, uh, do that in the comment section. I'll get back to you uh, when I get to it. And uh, this is Coach Evans. This is Sip the Tatter presents Ravens Roundup. Um, week 9, a huge victory over the Patriots. And I'm going to still continue to drink my purple Kool-Aid. See you next time. With the, with the